There are a lot of things that affect feed conversion, but we're going to talk about one of them today, body heat. You and I both know there are a lot of things that affect feed conversion, and a lot of them don't even have to do with the feed or the weight of the bird. Everything from are the scales at the feed mill accurate? Did the truck driver get all the feed off the truck? Did he get the right feed in the right bin? Did you get your load? Did you get somebody else's load? Uh, are the weight tickets? You know, it goes on and on. So feed conversion is dependent on a lot of things, but there are some things you can control. You can't control any of those other things, but there are a few things you can control, and you know I say this a lot, control what you can control. So today, I want to tell you about an article I read. It was done by uh, Dr. Brian Fairchild at the University of Georgia here in our hometown, go dogs. Anyway, um, but it was the impact of heat on feed conversion, body heat on feed conversion. So. There's been many, Dr. Fairchild even talks about, it. there's been many studies that show that heat can affect, you know, feed consumption, different things like that. So they just did a kind of a small trial on 34 day birds, 30, 34 day old birds for the last week of their grow out. So they did, a, they did a handful of birds and they spread them out and they did weight gain and the feed consumption, all that good stuff. So what they found was, was that the hotter the bird is, the less they eat, and, but that's common sense. You and I both know that. When it's hot outside, which is supposed to be 100 degrees today here in Athens, feel like 104, 105, something like that. And when it gets hot, I don't even feel like eating. But it does more than just keep the bird from eating. It actually can affect the feed conversion, so it can actually affect the weight. Now, a bird's heat, the BTU that an actual broiler, fast growing broiler produces is roughly give or take 10 BTUs per hour per body pound, per pound of weight. That's pretty crazy. I mean, when you think about a match puts out one BTU per hour, that's a good bit different. I mean, that is a pretty good sized number when the fact is the birds, as you know, don't have a real good way of getting rid of that body heat. The crazy thing is that most of that body heat, that generating that heat, actually comes from digesting food. So what we want them to do is eat, but yet that's causing the problem in hot weather too. We're heating the bird up. So there's this give and this take that you've got to find a good balance for. So with that many BTUs on a bird, kicking out that many BTUs, then they have got to get that body heat out. And there's only a few ways they can do it. They can start panting. When you see that, you know that they are too hot. They're trying to cool themselves. They can open up their wings, get some of that body heat out, some of that air flowing through there. So what this trial found was that on those birds, so they weighed some birds and had the, uh, had the temperature on there. So a normal chicken, a normal broiler uh, temperature is going to be about 106, 106.5 right in there. What they found is the birds that were, that were able to maintain 106 to 106.5 in that ballpark were still able to eat well, but actually gained 1.3 pounds in that last week. Now, the birds that got up to uh, almost 108, not only did their feed consumption came down, they actually lost weight. They actually lost weight. So now you're going backwards. I mean, you've still put feed in that bird, the bird's still eating to some degree, but now your weight's going backwards. Now, what, what does all this mean? Because we can only control what we can control. All, my, my point in this is to kind of encourage you that we don't want to just keep this tunnel system going. We don't want to just keep these fans going. We don't want to keep these cool cells going just so we can keep the birds from maybe dying or having heat stress. But the fact is, it can actually impact your check. So that's what we're getting paid on, feed conversion and weight. So we need to make sure there is a strong motivation to keep these birds cool. Now, one of the things he brought up 
in this article, and this was kind of interesting to me, I'd never heard of this. Maybe this is enlightening you because everything I've said up to now, you probably already knew. But one of the things he said, we get asked a lot about, well, what about at night turning the fans off because we don't want to chill the birds? Dr. Fair, Dr. Fairchild said in this article that basically when you get over about four weeks, four weeks or older on a broiler, you don't really have to worry about chilling the bird because actually those birds do a better job of heating themselves back up if they were to get on the cooler side of comfortable a lot easier than if they're on the hotter side of comfortable. They start getting temperatures that get up. They just have difficulty cooling themselves down. And that's going to impact, as we see from this trial, is that not only will it affect, affect feed consumption, but it could actually affect your weight as well. And those two are going to combine to affect your feed conversion. So uh, a little article I'd read, Dr. Fairchild had done, I thought it was interesting. I thought I'd bring it to you. The impact of body heat as it relates to feed conversion. So I hope this helps. And if nothing else, just gives you a motivation to say, hey, check those fans, check those pulleys, check those belts. Make sure you're getting air moving through here and uh, keeping those birds cool, trying to get that heat out of here and bring some cooling to them. So hope that helps. And uh, if you've got any questions or if you've got any ideas on any other videos you might like to see us do, give me a holler, 1-800-608-3755 or alan at southlandorganics.com. Until next time.